What is going on guys, Tech Pro Charlie here and today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. The Samsung Galaxy S21 was one of the most sought after phones from the brand for a while. Now they're dropping its fan edition which means you can get all the features people love for an even more bang for the buck price. People weren't even sure it would be released because it's been in the rumor mill for a while. And I know you guys are excited, so let's jump right in. I got not one, but three units. One for each colorway. As of the making of this video, I don't know the exact names, but there's this matcha-ish green, lavender, and of course, my favorite, the black. The lavender and green ones look similar to the vanilla S21, except for the camera array because it doesn't sport a different type of finish. It's basically one full mold for the entire back. As for the black one, which again is my favorite, it looks very identical to the S21 Ultra. All of them have a nice matte finish that feels great to hold in the hand while being able to keep visible prints and smudges away. It also doesn't feel so heavy to carry as well. On the right side, we have the volume rocker and the power button, while below we have the dual SIM card tray, USB-C port, and half its dual speakers. Now, do we get a different screen? Yes, we do, and it's bigger than the S21, but smaller than the S21 Plus, and surprisingly, smaller than the S20 FE's. That's a 6.4-inch Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X display. The S21 had a 6.2-inch screen, while the S20 FE had a 6.5-inch screen. But just like the S20 FE, we have options for 120Hz and 60Hz, but sadly, there doesn't seem to be any automatic adjusting. I've gotten used to higher refresh rates, and bogging it down to 60Hz looks kinda jittery to me. I'll probably use this mostly on 120Hz unless I'm desperate for some extra juice. Either way, the colors of the screen look gorgeous, as expected of Samsung. Pictures really pop and of course the blacks look really dark. And you're sure to enjoy Netflix shows and your favorite YouTube videos on this since we also have stereo speakers that sound pretty good to me. On that note, here's a quick audio sample. Now, here's a big one. Cameras, which a lot of you are probably wondering about. For the cameras, we have a 12 megapixel f1.8 main wide camera with dual pixel autofocus and OIS, 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and 8 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom. While on the front, we have a 32 megapixel f2.2 selfie camera. All of the cameras are the same lineup as with the S20 FE. But the difference will lie in the post-processing because we have a bigger, better processor here. And I'm pretty happy with the photos. Color applications seem great to me and that should be thanks to the processor. Everything looked consistent, despite which camera you used, all without being oversaturated. Even indoors at night, the photos I took retained lots of detail. But of course, I do prefer the shots done during the day. The video quality was also nice, and I'm pretty sure it will be a treat for social media or vlogging. Next up, internals, and it looks like we're getting the Exynos 2100 5G paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. I'm not sure about the other variants just yet, so this is the model that I have. And you heard right, the Fan Edition now has 5G for that lightning fast connection even when you're out, as long as your area supports it. That means binging on the go and gaming on the fly without any stuttering or lag. And with a chipset like the Exynos 2100, you'll be able to enjoy all the latest and greatest mobile games like Wild Rift, Call of Duty, or Genshin Impact. One of the first things I do whenever I get a phone is play Wild Rift, and I really like the stereo speakers here and the gaming experience was great, especially with that vibrant color. And instead of the 4000mAh battery of the S21, we're getting a bigger 4500mAh cell here like the S20 FE. That should get you about a day of use and should be able to handle the 120Hz refresh rate of the screen easily. 
it's a nice little upgrade, especially because battery sizes are beefing up these days. And charging that would be 25 watt wire charging and 50 watt wireless charging. And just in case you want to share that juice, we have wireless power share as well. There you have it. My quick first impressions on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. If we're comparing it to the S21, there are pros and cons. If you're after a bigger screen, beefier battery, cleaner design, and a more affordable price, the S21 FE is the one for you. But if you're into photography and versatility is a must for you, then go for the Galaxy S21. In the end, in my opinion, the S21 FE has a good place in the S21 roster. And it's an easy recommendation for me if you're looking for a powerful all-rounder that looks stylish to boot. And you can grab it for 38,990 pesos for the 128 gig storage variant and 41,990 pesos for the 256 gig storage variant. You can pre-order right now and it'll be available on January 11. If you want to know more, check out our website. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yup, subscribe because when you hit 250k subs, we're giving away a smartphone. So don't forget to use the hashtag sub to unbox. Hit the notification bell if you want to get updates when you drop videos. Once again, it's your tech bro Cholo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.